first tonight at 11, we're just hours away from a ruling once and for all on Georgia's so-called fetal heartbeat abortion law. So take a look at this map. You can see tonight Georgia has one of the most restrictive abortion laws in the nation. But tomorrow morning, the state Supreme Court will release its decision either throwing it out or keeping it on the books. As it stands, the law currently bans most abortions, and once a heartbeat is detected, about six weeks. So what will the court decide, and what's the impact on this blockbuster ruling? Here's 11 Alive's John Sherrick. Georgia Supreme Court announcing it's going to release its ruling at 9 a.m. on whether to keep or throw out Georgia's heartbeat abortion law. The decision is final. There is no appeal. So each side in this case is already expecting that the losing side will find a way to keep fighting. A key question the state Supreme Court will answer has less to do with whether it's right or wrong to ban abortions after a fetal heartbeat is detected. Instead, a big part of the Supreme Court decision is whether the ban was already unconstitutional from the moment the governor signed it into law in 2019. That's because back then, Roe v. Wade was still the law of the land, supposedly preventing states like Georgia from enacting laws like the heartbeat abortion ban in the first place. And last year, Fulton County Superior Court Judge Judge Robert McBurney ruled that the ban should never have been enacted. The state then appealed McBurney's ruling to try to keep the ban in place. Our point is that this law was not, in fact, void, unconstitutional, anything when it was enacted. Had this court case been brought in 2019, this court would have had no choice but to strike it down as void. Ed Setzler is the state legislator who convinced lawmakers in 2019 to disregard Roe v. Wade and pass the statewide ban anyway. I think the court's going to find this as fully constitutional. I think it's going to be implemented in full. Opponents of the ban, including Monica Simpson of Sister Song Women of Color, were already preparing to keep fighting if the state Supreme Court keeps the ban in place. We will continue to do everything that we need to do to ensure that Georgians are taken care of. If the state Supreme Court throws out the ban, it's possible state legislators will start all over and try to pass another version of the ban when they convene this winter. At the state Supreme Court in downtown Atlanta, John Shearick, 11 Alive News.